Welcome to 3D Maya Tutorials. As I told you, how to fill a wine glass using a fluid method just from importing files from RealFlow. I'm going to show how to import a RealFlow mesh to this wine glass for a liquid stimulation. Okay. You can see here some of the icons here. These icons been here from the plugins real flow. Just window settings preference. Just you can see here real flow that MML. After I'm loaded it, this will come. How can I how can I get this? You have to go to realflow.com and just download this from Aya. After downloaded you just you can paste the in the plugins folder and you can import this okay after this what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the my real flow I'm going to show how to fill the object okay file before that I'm just going to show how to export this okay just click this object just selecting this to some 12 okay fine Okay, fine. I'm just selecting this. I'm just going to export selection. There will be many options, but you have to select the real for SD option. Then give export selection. Wine glass one export save. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Just uh, made a mistake. Just select the object and then give effect export selection. Wine glass export selection replace X. Okay, thanks. <coughs> now moving to real flow just go to the file import object just I have saved it in my uh, projects default real flow wine glass one okay fine it's here you can see some nodes displayed here camera from what's the camera here is camera I don't need the camera just deleting in the camera just I we need the nerves to pali okay this is the emitter menu which will give the emitters type of emitters which will give the particles to emit okay these are the daemons which will control the particles to to flow with these are the these are the ready made cubes or hemisphere just you can make an object ready made okay these are constraints like inch constraint ball socket constraint slider function fixed constraint rope path flow constraint car wheel constraint and link constraint and uh, this is a mesh it can be used at the later i'll be showing showing you about it later okay and this is more important or mesh okay i'll show you later and uh, this is the real wave uh, here you can create real wave actions more complicated waves effects like uh, tsunami effects i will sh uh, i will really sh uh, show you about it in the later tutorials uh, but now we don't need it so, okay i'm deleting it just go to emitter first step. select the first circle emitter and drag it clicking w e r as in the maya same uh, same r in the real flow W to move E to rotate and R to scale. Just click W and move to the top of the top of the object. Click one to the this this, this displays the top view. Click two. This displays the front view. You can see here front view. Displays three to the side view and four to the perspective view. Okay. Now I'm going just going to rotate the angle of the particles to drop okay what I'm going to do is just click E and just rotate it over there okay it's fine after rotating it I'm just going to create the particle mesh by clicking here okay just I'm a creator you can see the mesh plus you can see the circle emitter must be automatically connected if not connected as you click the mesh and go to insert fluids and just click circle and click R okay etc okay that's it 
just select and move to the top okay like uh, flow over from the bottle okay see here when you stimulate this you can see the particles flowing to it to the to the wine glass but it's at utmost outer of the range for do for that what to do stop the stimulation just go to the demons and just select gravity gravity is the most important one where you can just show the differences it pulls over to the surface ground okay after that you can stimulate the stimulation goes and runs for a few times okay that's it but you can see uh, the glass surface the glass surface is inside and the mesh is outside you can see here it is thicker than the glass okay I'll explain it explain it about and the my fourth or fifth tutorial how can this be controlled okay okay fine uh, this is now going on you can see a stimulation running fastly uh, you must just go to uh, something like you can yeah uh, you must say you must change the polygon size to 0 0.2 or something okay just go click uh, that come to the back and just click 0 0.2 okay fine just clicking yes again false again false again okay fine may run I made a render okay I'm just back to the Maya okay 